Hi guys! Today we're going to solve this problem for fluid mechanics and hydraulics. So this problem came out in Civil Engineering Board Exam way back November 1977. So it's a very interesting problem, kaya we will try to solve it today. So first, basahin muna natin yung question natin and then uh, we will try to fill our illustration here ng ating mga given para mas mapadali yung ating calculation. Okay? An iceberg having a specific gravity of 0 0.92 is floating on salt water of specific gravity 1.03. If the volume of ice above the water surface is 1,000 cubic meters, what is the total volume of the ice? So, we have an iceberg here floating in a seawater. So, this is the level of our seawater, okay? So, this is our water level here. Our iceberg is having a specific gravity of 0 0.92. So, this is our iceberg. And it's having a specific gravity of 0 0.92. And our iceberg is floating on salt water of specific gravity 1.03. So our salt water is having a specific gravity of 1.03. Okay. Now, the volume of the ice above the water surface is 1,000 cubic meters. So it is uh, referring to this part right here. The part of our iceberg that is above the water surface. So the volume. Uh, let's say this is Vt, the volume on top, is equal to 1,000 cubic meters. Now, we are being asked to determine what is the total volume of the ice. Okay, so now let us write all our given values and uh, ano yung required natin. No? So, let's say B is the total volume of the ice. So, ito yung required natin. Now, the volume of the ice above the water level, Vt. Okay, the volume of ice above water level. And this is equal to 1,000 cubic meters. Now, we do not know the volume of the ice, okay, which is at the bottom of the water surface. So, let us name that as Vb, okay, it's to signify the volume of the ice at the bottom. Okay, so our Vb is the volume of the ice below the water level. Okay, so our requirement is the total volume. So therefore, our volume is equal to Vt plus Vb. Okay? And since we don't know what is Vb, we will express this as a function of Vt and B. So our Vb is actually equal to V minus 1,000 cubic meters, right? So, Vb here is equal to V minus 1,000. Okay, so our iceberg is floating on a seawater, right? So, there are two forces acting dito sa ating iceberg. First is yung weight ng ating ice. Okay, so we have weight of our ice and the next is the buoyant force kaya siya lumulutang di ba so let's say buoyant force is bf so now we're going to proceed with our calculation using all these given values so first kunin muna natin ano ba yung weight ng ating ice so in our previous lecture we learned that specific weight gamma is equal to the weight of the material over the volume. And our specific weight is also equal to the product of density times the acceleration due to gravity. So, we already studied this in our previous video. So, 
if you want to refresh the subject you can watch our video again okay so using this equation we're going to calculate for the total weight of our iceberg so our weight of the ice is equal to the specific weight times the volume of the ice which is v the total volume of the ice okay so now okay so now we don't know the value of v but we could get the value of our specific weight no so the weight of our ice is equal to so using this equation we're going to get the value of our specific weight by multiplying the density with the acceleration due to gravity okay so to get the density of the ice, we will use the specific gravity of the ice right here. So we have 0 0.92 multiplied to the density of water, right? So we have the density of water which is 1000 kilogram per cubic meter. Okay, multiplied to the acceleration due to gravity 9.81 meter per second squared so we have here kilogram meter per second squared which is in newton so we are going to convert this to kilonewton so we'll have one kilonewton to 1000 newton right here now then of course multiply that to v so the weight of our ice is equal to 0 0.92 and this will be cancelled out here 1000 and 1000 so we'll have 0 0.92 times 9.81 okay and this is 9.0252 v okay so this will be our equation number one Okay, so now we're going to get the um, buoyant force, okay, yung ating buoyant force dito. So, our buoyant force is equal to the specific weight of our seawater, SW, multiplied to the volume of the ice that is uh, below the water level, okay? So, the volume of bb okay so our bb here which is the volume of ice below the water level so our bf therefore is equal to the specific gravity of our seawater which is 1.03 multiplied to the density of water times the acceleration due to gravity okay then converting this to kilonewton, we have 1,000 newton per 1 kilonewton. Okay, so this will be cancelled out. So our buoyant force will be equal to, let us calculate for that. Okay, so 1.03. Multiplied to 9.81. This is equal to 10.1043, okay? And we have VB here, sorry. We have VB. So, we have VB in here. But our VB is equal to V minus 1000, okay? So, let us substitute that value here. So, our buoyant force is equal to 10.1043 times v minus 1000 and this is our equation number two okay we have the buoyant force and the weight of the ice which is uh, the forces acting dito sa ating iceberg now our iceberg is floating on our sea water therefore the summation of forces on vertical will be equal to zero so we will be working on this equation knowing that the forces acting vertically okay the summation of their forces will be equal to zero and those forces are the weight of the ice 
and our buoyant force. Therefore, our weight of the ice is equal to the buoyant force. Okay? Because on this case, they are canceling each other out here. Okay? So, our weight of the ice, which is equation number 1, which is 9.0252V, is equal to our buoyant force, which is 10.1043V minus 1000. Now, we can solve for the value of V. Okay, so we have 9.0252V is equal to 10.1043V minus 10.1043 times 1000, which is equal to 10,104.3. Okay, so we're going to do some transposition. We will have 10.1045V minus 9.0252V is equal to 10,104.3. Okay? So first, subtract natin to. We have 10.1045 minus 9.0252 is equal to 1.0793 is equal to 10,104.3. So, dividing both sides by 1.0793. Okay, so this will be cancelled out. So our V is equal to, let's calculate again, 10,104.3 divided by uh, 1.0793 is equal to 9,361.9. Okay, so we have 9,000. 361.9 cubic meters. And this is our final answer to this question.